Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and FinTech, I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, FinTech and AI. Here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing and thank you all for your support on social media about last week's news and watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with myself and David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized cloud computing thought leader and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share these videos with your friends and your colleagues for any cloud news media submissions to feature on this new show please email media at nelsonhilliard.com this week has been a very busy week for the Australian bank Bank West as they launch their broker site to the public cloud with AWS Lambda and they adopt the Spotify agile model the latest initiative in Bank West's cloud-first approach to service delivery has seen the security gateway for its broker website delivered via Lambda. Launched back in July, the bank's one-stop shop allows brokers to track the real-time status and other information on current home loan applications, as well as monitoring of the existing loans. BankWest engineering manager Chris Dorrington said, the serverless architecture is part of a shift towards automated preventative and corrective controls. These levels of automation strengthen our risk management overall. BankWest CTO Sean Langton said, AWS Lambda and serverless computing in general highlights the company's push to become agile and responsive to rapidly changing customer needs. BankWest has rolled out its first tribe as it begins on its journey to become an organization underpinned by the agile principles pioneered by Spotify. Culture first, technology second. Over the past year, it has been laying down the groundwork for an organization-wide shift to a tribe-based agile model based on the model made famous by streaming giant Spotify. The Spotify model emphasizes autonomy and collaboration within multidisciplinary teams that have all the tools to hand that they need to design, develop, test, and release into production. Bank West Chief Information Officer Andy Weir, who is leading the cultural transformation, said, We understand that we are operating in an environment with extreme levels of uncertainty, volatility, increasing complexity and increasing ambiguity. We've been driving agility into the way we do things for a number of years, but we realised that we weren't going to achieve the kinds of velocity in terms of delivering new features and capabilities that we were after if we carried on with the existing approach. Not a very good week for the Australian Broadcasting Corporation as it confirms S3 data leaks with AWS. The ABC has accidentally leaked sensitive data from at least two unsecure Amazon Web Services AWS S3 repositories according to Chrome Tech Security Center. Chrome Tech CIO Bob Diachenko wrote in a blog post that the security firm discovered a trove of data connected to ABC Commercial the broadcaster's commercial arm that looks after the marketing and retailing of ABC products and services worldwide after conducting an online search for poorly set up cloud computing sites. The exposed files contain thousands of emails, logins and passwords for ABC commercial users to access content, request for licensed content from media producers worldwide, secret access key and login details for other repositories with advanced video content and 1,800 daily MySQL backups from 2015 to present. This week, Amazon announced the AWS secret region for the intelligence agencies. This comes three years after AWS launched Top Secret Region. Amazon has announced Secret Region for US intelligence agencies as well as other government agencies dealing with secret level data. The new region is immediately available to US intelligence agencies through their existing commercial cloud services contract with AWS and will meet certain government agency standards. John Edwards, CIO of the CIA, said in a statement, the AWS secret region is a key component of the Intel community's multi-fabric cloud strategy. It will have the same material impact on the IC at the secret level that the C2S has at top secret. This week, Macquarie Telecom made a 17.9 million Australian dollar bid to acquire the company Bulletproof. 
In a statement issued to the Australian Securities Exchange on Tuesday night, Macquarie, through its cloud services subsidiary, outlined its plan to obtain the remaining 83.89% of Bulletproof shares that it does not currently own. The company is expected to be a strategic fit for Macquarie. CEO David Tudhope highlighted that integration of Bulletproof will allow customers to access a full set of cloud options for co-location, private cloud and public cloud. Macquarie Telecom's managed cloud service was initially given the security tick by the ASD in May 2015, making it the first Australian cloud provider to be listed on the federal government certified list. This week, the secret is out. Uber has been hacked a year ago. According to a Bloomberg report, hackers stole names, email addresses and phone numbers of 57 million riders around the world in a breach dating back to October 2016. More than 7 million drivers' data was also stolen, including over 600,000 drivers' license records, trip records, location data, social security numbers were not stolen in the breach, the company said. Instead of alerting users of the breach, the company paid the hackers US dollars to delete the data and to keep the details of the breach quiet. According to Bloomberg, two hackers broke into the private GitHub repo that's used by Uber software engineers and were able to gain access to an Amazon Web Services account that handled and controlled tasks by ride-sharing service. The hackers found an abundance of rider and driver data, downloaded it and reportedly emailed the company demanding money. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's cloud computing news. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Twitter and remember to check out the latest cloud computing shows with myself and David Lindicum. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.